Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to look at multiple ways to visualize classification results, such as ROC, AUC, and confusion matrix. A common way to visualize classification result is to use the confusion matrix. So the name is confusing, but what it does is actually very simple. So specifically, it's a tabulation of all the instances that your prediction algorithm has got it right and got it wrong. So in this example, we are looking at a classification problem with three classes, cat, dog, and rabbit. And the rows here are the actual class. So that means a true label. And for the rows here, the predicted class. So same number of classes, cat, dog, and rabbit. So the cells in the matrix show you exactly how many of the data instances are correctly classified and how many of them are wrongly classified. For example, in the first row, so the true label is cat. So there are eight of them. And in the cell, we can see that five of them are correctly classified and three are misclassified. So similarly, for the dog class, two are misclassified as cat and one misclassified as, as rabbit. So that means in this, all these cell values, they're exactly showing us how many are correct and how many are wrong. So when you have a large number of classes, uh, it's really beneficial to visualize the matrix. Uh, for example, at the top, we have a lot of numbers. So if you just uh, look at it at a glance, it's very hard to spot any pattern. But on the other hand, if you visualize this matrix uh, mapping color value to the numerical value, let's say darker means higher value, that's really easy to see that the diagonal value uh, is pretty dark. So that means uh, that is what you want, because that means the classified, uh, the predicted class is actually matching the true class. Also, at the same time, you'll see row number five is also not that light. So that means there's quite a bit of misclassification going on there. And similarly, you will see that uh, row number eight, column number three, that's very dark. So that means the digit eight is highly misclassified uh, and very often as the digit number three. And if you think about it, actually, they look pretty similar, So which might explain why the misclassification. When you're analyzing any kind of classification result, it's very important to understand or to tell people what you mean by positive. So positive often would mean the things that you care about in your classification. For example, you are doing cancer detection. Positive often uh, means uh, someone having cancer. But often, it's not really that clear. And the uh, drawback of not clearly stating what positive means is that you can actually get completely opposite uh, interpretation. For example, if someone say, I have a very high true positive rate, and if you what you are interpreting is actually the opposite, or uh, the class that what they mean is actually not the class that what you want to want to mean, uh, then you can have int different interpretation. So instead of saying very high accuracy, we may actually interpret as very low accuracy. And also similarly, uh, a lot of terminology actually defined based on positive. For example, there's true positive, false positive, and also there are other measures uh, like specificity, uh, recall, and so on. So all those are dependent on the definition of positive. So that's extremely important uh, to de declare that uh, very clearly. Another way to visualize classification result is using the ROC curve, which stands for Receiver Operating Characteristic. So what does that mean? So we're we'll looking at an example. Here's the ROC curve of the classification result of a malware detection problem. Here, positive class means malware, and negative class is benign file, such as Microsoft Word.exe. And in an ROC curve, the horizontal axis is false positive rate or false alarm. So that means good things get misclassified as bad. And vertical axis is the true positive rate, so that means bad file correctly classified as bad. So in this example, the curve uh, is cutting through an orange point, which states that there's 85% true positive rate at 1% false alarm rate. So the ideal scenario for any classification problem uh, in terms of the ROC curve would be to hit the top left corner. So that means there's no false alarm, and all the positive things get correctly uh, classified. So that means the, the curve, the more of it look like a right angle curve, the better. So in this example, we see that it's quite close to a right angle, so, but not quite yet. 
So our OC curve actually can give you a series of numbers. So at any point of the curve, you can look at the trade-off between false alarm and true positive rate. Uh, sometimes maybe you are running out of space and you only want one number to summarize the whole ROC curve. Then what do you do? A very common way to measure that is using a UC or area under the curve. So very literally, it means taking the area under the ROC curve, which is the green area here. So there's some important point to note about uh, when using our AUC. So for example, if someone tells you that there's a fantastic machine learning algorithm and it achieves a 0.9 AUC score out of the maximum of uh, one, then what do you think? Would you th they say that it's a great algorithm because it's very close to one? Or maybe it's not. So you should be very careful when you use AUC. For example, we're, here we're showing two uh, curves which have the same number AUC uh, 0 0.9. While on the left here, we see that to achieve a one true positive rate, we need to uh, give a, a lot of false, false positive rate. Uh, you can only get it when you have a 0 0.1 false positive rate. While on the right, you have zero false positive, and, but you can only get up to 0 0.9 true positive. So which one is better? It actually depends on your application. For example, if you're doing cancer detection, then probably zero po false positive would be the best because that means you are not misdiagnosing anyone who actually don't have cancer and you mistakenly call them uh, to having cancer. So in this video, we'll look at multiple important ways of visualizing classification results, ROC, AUC, and confusion matrix.